Oh, wait. I'm going to speak over here because I can't. The bench is in my way. Are we uh, ready to get started? Or are we still waiting for people to come in? Or? Let's just wait a little bit for people who are trickling in slowly. All right, we will go ahead and get started. My name is Christina Phillips. I'm the director of debate at Notre Dame High School. I'm going to be flowing. Um, it may take me a second to get my document camera working and I may have to leave and like jump back in. Um, but I wanted to introduce all the debaters today um, as well as your host. So to start, I would like to introduce the 1A, Thomas Reese from McQueen. Uh, the 2A, also from McQueen, Mia Lutzinger. The 1N from Damien High School, Brendan Tremblay. Wave, wave, so they know who you are. All right, and then, no, not you, Thomas, not you, okay. Then uh, also Ben Shapiro from Oak Park River Forest will be the 2N today. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Ashton Smith, who will be your moderator for the day. Go ahead and take it, Ashton. All right, everyone. Uh, hope you're all ready for this debate. It'll be good. For the um, other lab leaders that are attending, uh, I do not believe there's a way that I can share the attendee list, but I'll check on that while the one I see is going on so we can make sure that everyone is taken account of. Um, the link to the speech drop has been sent so make sure you open that up if you want to access the 1AC throughout the debate. Uh, the debaters will be uploading the documents there so you can follow along uh, if you would like and you can flow and things like that. So make sure you can access that. Um, all right, I think we're ready to go. Uh, Thomas, you can take it away with the 1AC. All right, cool. Is anyone not ready? <clears throat> Plan the United States federal government should enact substantial criminal justice reform in the area of sentencing by abolishing capital punishment and life without parole. The federal government is resuming capital punishment. It can be applied to prisoners in any state. Kazashi 19. The DOG has directed the federal government to resume capital punishment. State opposition does not impede federal governments from applying the death penalty for prisoners from the state federal government. The death penalty for all 50 states. Problem. The unique federal death penalty include over federalization of state crimes and federal death penalty contributed by 60 different offenses. Then the DOG is intervening to take over state cases. Federal cases receive weaker review and disproportionately target black people. Sugar 19. The first five men scheduled to die were carefully chosen. The list was curated. The first set to die was white supremacists. The execution continues going to be black person after black person. If any federal death penalty cases, you will be trauma, illness, and proceed to disaster, drunk science because the federal death penalty is plagued by the problems have caused people to move away from the death penalty. In other states, death penalty penalty convictions are subjugated to layers of review. Federal convictions only get to louder in many cases receive meaningful scrutiny. The effect of the bill was entered in DOG has taken over cases at the state level. The Fifth Circuit Criteria of 20 defendants who have received a death sentence have been people of a disproportionate number of sentences are located in district where the jury for predominantly white Trump administration seeking death in the states will abolish the death penalty and independently some states will use the death penalty unless they are forced to stop by the federal government nyt and 17. leaving it up to individual states and not solution states that pass laws to speed up the capital appearance of the process of death penalty held after the future committed and they won't stop killing unless they are forced to by relying on after region that's off the court's responsibility the eighth amendment and capital punishment is racist state sanctioned killing corner 16. 
African American constitute thirty five percent of the sentences in death. Strong evidence indicates that not all have been convicted of murder. Instead, so they're based on the death sentence. They're supposed to have the most death penalty execution and then killing killers to show that killing is wrong rather than hypocritical. And the laws it wasn't slavery. The laws there were procedural safeguards. Why one hundred fifty six and fifty seven persons were sentenced to death? Why the poor ninety percent of death row populations since the public is predetermined to murder? Then neither should the government. And wrongful convictions means executing innocent people is statistically certain. After the after Davis nineteen. Execution that results in death is a perfect criminal justice system that does not exist with human life on the right. The government can't no, execute the wrong person. The government has exonerated 166 death row inmates. All of those have been wrongly convicted. Wrongful convictions have happened due to eyewitness misidentification, drunk sign, false confession, mixed conduct, faulty issues, bad lawyers, and the wrongful person person has the potential to be set free. The bias of human life is enough to repeal the death penalty, allowing the government to decide when the end of the person's life is theoretical and risking one instant person's life is not worth the retribution. And death penalty is morally wrong. Collective behavior that makes us all accessories to murder nurses and the cycles of bias. Warden 19. If those who are put to death, the great capital punishment was correct. This should be still morally wrong. Being human is held to responsibility. Being held fellow being capital punishment is morally wrong. Collective behavior that makes a society accessory is wrongful accessory. It serves endless cycles of violence and prioritize ethics. The institutional violence and moral disengagement at the heart of the death penalty is the same that facilitates genocide and cleansing the world of those deemed unsafe. Johnson, 18. Dehumanization emerges as the accumulation of the authors of condemned persons of the murder, dehumanization, and to the other this fast psychological mystery and intellectual shutdown of empathy, objectification, enable genocide, dehumanization, can create a motive for uh, uh, capital sin, capitalist punishment, offer the offender twice who wants to death row while awaiting execution once again in the death chamber, justification for capital punishment, non uh, provided the constitution no reform can take the confining and killing process, the death penalty, and death, and the waiting for the intolerable end. The respect for human dignity is necessary to sustain the essential meaning of a being human without a tyranny, war, ecological collapse, or inevitable we be in my team. <laughs> When we abandon the effort to uphold human dignity, we abandon our moral principles. What follows is corrective and theoretical and those humanitarian crises will fail to always accompany the painful realities of the ecological balance of the ever more fragile reason the responsibility to grow domestic government is declined when the more abuse of the community against anyone the dignity of humanity is compromised. And framing the death penalty as a violation of human dignity provides a tool to challenge the focus on retribution that sustains other harsher punishment and it allows us to fall in sync with the global anti death penalty movement culture in 16. Abolition is needed to change the framework. We need to focus on human rights. Otherwise, they will be left with another inhumane punishment. Only adopting the human rights framework will see the one vendors of the human being in the rest of the world. The anti death penalty movement have been a success. Adopting this framework will empower abolition as the way to open the door to other excessively punished distinctions. And the U.S. is responsible for global death penalty practices that help sustain Africa, the Middle East, and, South, uh, and Southeast Asia. And it undermines international human rights law. Reversal by the court is necessary to reinvigorate global abolition. Kaplan, it's 16. UN call for moderation in the death penalty. U.S. has some enabled to contribute to the employee to the death penalty and says that they are abiding by international law. There has been a gap between the idealism that the U.S. expressed and the reality that it refuses to abide by international human rights commitments that the U.S. has clearly led global death penalty practice and the use of death penalty by the U.S. to the investigation of the practices with the Supreme Court ruling and contradictional mark the beginning of the crime to the death sentences around the world. And the court should unequivocally repudiate the death penalty case by case judgment and deference in the states inevitably fail. Only abolishing it can overcome the inherent problems within the process that's bearing 11. A bit in the judicial restraints appear to be opening a paradox is from and had capital punishment as a cruel and unusual punishment in the violation of the Eighth Amendment. The application of the constitutional single case that opens the door to impair the problems of the Constitution and relies on the court to intervene in the protected rights during the application to open the paradox is lost. The court must continually intervene to address the court as left with three choices to close the box to grapple indefinitely or remove the box and prohibit the state's closing the box and near impossibility. The consequence of the case by case supports the innocent individuals may be executed or capital trials tend to be full of error. The pulling off the box and the table is the intervening conclusion. Capital punishment should be renewed in the state of the cost by allowing capital punishment now the benefits of capital punishment should be abolished, and only abolishing the death penalty can remedy the state's racist murder of innocent peaceful bestler in 16. The death penalty legitimacy means they eroded by the arbitrary and highly discriminatory application of the death penalty should be found in the torture to violate constitutional law. Capital punishment has been reversed primarily for those convicted of killing white people, black men who killed white women who have long received the harsher laws, harshest treatment. Death sentence to support hierarchies among men of color. The justice is stopped short of collecting the practices in the historical slavery rooted context. The unjust uh, influence of the race of capital punishment continues to be unchecked. The death penalty and more tender than the scientists study after a study of showing the white killers are most likely to be sentenced to death and the killers of black government should not involve itself with the cruel punishment that have been inscribed with the discrimination and quality of hatred and arbitrariness. The death study of all death sentences is found extremely high error rate. Two thirds of capital sentences overturned and appeal demonstrated that near certain innocent Americans will be willing to continue to be executed if the court were knew the death penalty and the violation of the Eighth Amendment. The American legal system would be uprooted to the barbaric practice of the root of slavery. Now, framing. First, it's risk analysis. Utilitarianism is susceptible to a bad face. Tinkering with numbers justifies atrocities. Hold in 95. Playing the numbers game estimates the number of lives saved by then adding other lives to cause the same action can be justified to other consequences. He or she would not get stuck with the triumph of utilitarian thinking. The more calculus the offense, the conviction of the person is always a trend to never be an end, never the miss. Utilitarian calculation or success about a bad faith reasoning taken with the numbers officially. Virtually any atrocities can be uh, excused, and all risk of extinction altogether events are 0.2% per year. That's Simpson 16. 
a biology reformation found the global catastrophe risk of 0.2% per year, a prioritized probability that's Kessler <gasps> dies there is 808. It is difficult to calculate unacceptable losses, even the highest degree of profitability becomes irrelevant, and the measure of the loss goes to an infinite calculation of pretend risk <gasps> tends to overestimate danger in one factor of to infinity. Risk management breaks down security policy, represents the logic of catastrophe, which is to make our attempt at responsibility even more of a certain error. So, again, <gasps> possibility to like, con- construct a change of policy potentialities and probable methods are likely to broaden the possibilities, although a little link code between the windows with each the impairment of the probability, absence of uh, evidence is not evidence of absence, and be aware of selective bias and the cognitive fallacy. Each internal link is a mis- Leading snapshot of risk and infinitely reduces the probability of the next continent in 98. Conflicts and errors gain more credibility than they deserve because later causes of the offender effect. The scenarios compromise the number of links which may be seen plausible given what's before like closed and when the each step limited the branches of each step will be lead to a neutral outcome to the snapshot of the highly stated view of the future only <laughs> by negation that comes in articulation of the sort of risk of uncertainty flutter concern with the end of the path not zero probability by lowering the threshold for alarm and this happens the impossibility of defense and war is unlikely to skipper von was on 19. We change causes of major to the size of per capita in terms of considered in 1950 as a break, including interrace of wars addressing the population and essential evidence for not changing the struggle of the break in the 1950s. This is simply due to size, including interstate wars, decreased wars, making the harder with no change. Our analysis has suddenly get huge wars to lower the evidence for the world becoming peaceful since the 1950s. Second is Stumper's DACA signals broad court activism and undermines Robert's uh, centrism, legitimacy, Parker, and 20. After all this gender, they have to conserve the court. They were right as a poet without Roberts. You have to the court legislation of the Republican Party beyond activists, Republicans attack Roberts in the system with flawless in the end of the design. Republicans and the buyers were more to invest in the time track and they're not getting done in DACA echoes. Now, yeah, I didn't get to the wrong card. Just the wrong card. Oh, and the Shecker card. I realize that too, though. I'm good for cross All right, sounds good. Just checking one more time, you're good? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, great. Uh, let's start with the sort of rollback question. The courts have consistently ruled that the death penalty is a state's issue. Why does the, like, how does the AF overcome that? Um, that we use fiat to say that the court should do it. So you fiat the and courts? The, um, well, our evidence talks about the ways in which the courts would make the ruling, yes. So, okay, great. Wonderful. Um, let's talk about the international modeling claim. The countries that your evidence cites are places like China, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, where the U.S. might have some economic or military influence, but doesn't have a lot of influence over their criminal procedures. Why does Saudi Arabia change direction? It's not about influence follows? over criminal procedures. It's about influence writ large within the powers of the government. The uh, chaser evidence indicates that it's the U.S.'s influence over international law that can cause other countries to follow on. If that international, so can you draw me the specific chain between the U.S. abolishing the death penalty and like China, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan abolishing the death penalty? What do you mean? The chain is that the U.S. abolishes it. That gets in line with international law, which sets a precedent. That's but why is like if there's international law and it's enough to influence these countries, why hasn't it influenced them now? Why is the U.S. being in compliance key to influence these countries? Um, honestly, our argument is just that the U.S. has like, considerable influence over those countries. That's the Kessler evidence. Like our argument is like obviously there does exist international law. We think the U.S. is a major in we've actor. We've been asking China those, uh, to like stop massacring Uyghur Muslims for like decades. They're suddenly going to turn around and follow our recommendations on human rights because we abolished the death in penalty. In the context of the death penalty, yeah, our evidence is very specific to the way in which the U.S. is non-compliant, sets an international precedence in the way in which That's other fine. countries perceive its own death penalty. That's fine. Let's talk about the human dignity claim. Your evidence says, like, it would be great if the court ruled on human dignity. The court has historically ruled on the death penalty in fairly narrow grounds, and it doesn't look like you fiat ruling on human dignity. So what gives? Like, why would they rule on human dignity? We fiat that they rule on human dignity. We think, uh, we think that life without parole and capital punishment are obviously instances of violations of human din- dignity. So, like, a question, what's the utility in that? Okay, that's fine. Let's talk about uh, the, the states. The NYT evidence cites uh, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg in saying that even those uh, states and localities that have been keeping up with the death penalty have been gradually on the decline over time because of the cost of it. Why is the AF key when the uses of the death penalty have been going down over like a broader- um, The instances in which you're referring to those death penalties going down is not taking into account the specific evidence in which the states in which it's not going down is actually ramping up its death penalty. And due to the fact that like- What are the AF states? obviously fiats it. Uh, Mia could probably answer that. I'm not super familiar with the NYT evidence, but I believe it's places mostly in the South. Yeah. Also Trump is like ramping up uh, violations. So no Trump, Trump equals right. no death penalty? What does that mean? Like Trump is ramping it up. Obama didn't use it. If we get uh, Trump out of office, does that mean there's no more death penalty on the federal level? 
Um, well, we think that the ability for the federal to regulate it means that at the state level, it will still be there. Also, we have like jurisprudence warrants as to why those are specifically key. Okay, the one in C has been uploaded in the speech drop. Let me know if anyone hasn't gotten it. Uh, the order is gonna be six off the framing page and then the advantage. Does anyone need that order again? All right, everyone, I, I sent the link again. I know some people joined during the 1AC. We're using speech drop to facilitate sharing of documents. So uh, Brendan sent that, it was six off. Make sure you have all your sheets ready. Quick note on CrossX, some things you should have picked up on, right? The CrossX established an actor for the F using a question about solvency, um, right? Reese and Lutzinger were able to uh, work kind of pushed into defending some level of court interaction, right? Uh, there's also a question about the importance of U.S. action, right? And then there was uh, some empirical examples of how the U.S. has been ineffective at really pushing other countries to agree with exactly what they want them to. So those are some things you should have picked up in CrossX. Makes you really using CrossX to think about the type of arguments that the negative might be setting up for this one and C. All right, Brendan, you're good to go. All right, is everyone, Thomas, you still need a sec? Okay. All right, everyone good? Perfect. First off, this that Trump is you know, shifting the debate to his terms is key. That's coming in 625. Trump is also crowned in the battleground states. Trump advantage one life. Senator Lee Panders with a combination of three states with suffice. There is still time to recover the trace with the next majority of major cities, old industrial hubs, flowing suburbs, and farmland. Trump weaponizes liberal court rulings for the election. It's like in Hyper and 20. Trump has pledged to the liberties and update the roster again. Justice is governed as a right. I expose the among those who hold the court's most important factor. And we will be a top of mind issue in 2020. Trump seems more able and more likely to place the court's center of his re election. And Trump re election permanently collapses U.S. leadership. At least Goldman's will need crypto new. The war. That's right in 20. Try U.S. strategy was global role. A Trump question and knowledge is Trump is a Trump number. Never you will be on the policy of Trump. Into re-election, feel more hard and adjust. And when you word looking about, you could pull out NATO and choose a large regional orders. Increase part of the aggregate and major conflict. Conflict saying the indicating U.S. interest with Jack. But they don't want to do that. They're trying to manage training militia with Korea. And you could have terrorist accidents. I can't believe the firing escalation. That's not an obvious. Next up is the head of the first one to Article Five of the Constitution. At least two thirds of the states ought to call a limited and extradited constitution convention where only an amendment to abolish the death penalty, life without parole, and solitary confinement on the grounds of human dignity should be proposed. And deliberated over, and at least three fourths of states uh, ought to ratify a constitutional amendment that abolishes the death penalty, life without parole, and solitary confinement, and codifies the standard of human dignity in punishment in the United States in a timely manner. At least two thirds of the states ought to call, ought to not call any other constitutional convention in perpetuity. The counterman solved uh, better than the app that's naked. You know, the uh, death penalty went unconstitutional. If the amendment made it so that they say, but the amendment made it so that they say, but the amendment made it so that they say, but the amendment made it so that they say, but the amendment made it so that they say, but the amendment made it so that they say, but the amendment made it so that they say, but the amendment made it so that they say, but the amendment made it so that they say, but the amendment made it so that Exclude scores that make wording in 20. Any common use of an actor is not include a court no criminal law to adopt and rules and actor adopt uh, must be different and uh, better for limits. Anything else because they have a whole new body of literature and lots of tiny asking for for that kills fairness education. Next up is the DISA. Court packing is right now because of concerning the uh, conservative retinas and inflamed GOP green lights like a breezy history proposal, which formally destroys American constitutionalism. That's Rose and Reagan 17. Cover seems to call the Republican Series Scandal Course and without giving Trump a red charging scribble of uh, appeals uh, as many as all, uh, as, uh, as all president appointments and 40% of the police agency charges. Uh, Atlanta Charter Criticism and uh, Conservative Counter Buying Instruction uh, ideology to control the dangerous uh, idea game is a costume normally getting the proposal. So, anyway, they're talking about like, do you remember the evening you're about when you're there? Mind of a game of the thieves who blow up and expanded the rulings, motivate conservative harbor of fair brother, portraying the judiciary as broadly hostile. Capable and endangering right wing values. That's the Rose of Reagan 17. Because it's pressure with lack of the upper trip of the conservative areas, the judicial branch, the control of the court, matter of the judiciary is capable of running out of use by the adverse rulings. I guess we're going to see powers of the new judiciary, they're locking in, they start to lose that. I say they're locking judiciary. That tube defends climate litigation. Rack packing blocks regulatory relief and reverses and limitations on emission. That's Reverend Wallman 17. Terminate the swarming of some heroes and they're not being from the legacy to be a core hero. So that's a theater of the Thompson and the climate change. They're not saying what they're saying with the only ones who are there. They're not saying what they're saying with the only ones who are there. They're not saying what they're saying with the only Extinction, litigation solves and models to Estrada 16. Uh, Common education will be provided. Everybody is usually motivated. Motivated to motivate some other country. The president is able to every link with the restriction that makes sure that GBP exercises right. The majority of the action government is trusting the government as a whole. As actors that have a declared in corporate action, they can only have an interest about increasing the warming of the cost of everything. So that how loud constitutional litigation will be in government action. They can use for the common movement. Next up is the disaster. Despite coronavirus, I'll be hanging on as head of the LDP, the alternative soundtable faction, Sakaguchi in 626. But it'll probably already be running to be right within the LDP for formal elections. I will be here to change programs. We'll have to rise more than the party. 
the fall of June, Jogging Superstition with the LDP divided. <laughs> Japanese politics become the most one and may become a class stable. And the plan puts pressure on Japan to abolish the death penalty. Johnson in 20. A Japan follows American lead to a retention of the capital punishment. Uh, 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 American retention of the of a liberal democracy. Union and culture variety. Uh, uh, Prior price for outcome for other nations. Uh, like uh, American abolition would be if you can to abolish it. Public support for capital punishment is high. Abolition would cause a backlash for our leadership. That Johnson in 20. Expanding capital punishment again would institute for the electoral uh, gains. I believe Jersey can be the meaningful to believers to go to capital punishment. And China, uh, Japan China relations are stable under Abe. The plan undermines security and associated are placing him to Rashi in 20. Japan tried to slip before when he was trying to rival leader. Chinese merchants have come out of the United States. Chinese merchants are now. Japan's most important market. All the explained stocks have been in the United States. People are looking to build the nation. It's obvious. Release of new defense program. We got the job. It's time to bring out the China relations. I'll be reading. At this stage, 20 seen. I'll be concluding the very after each other. Remember that with that. TPP. I'll be in our sister China. We'll join the world. Join the China. Japan will join China. The fund we are aware that China coming to change. Japan is changing. They need to change. China will build a lateral and world building. And weak China China relations causes global conflict. Kills cooperation. Harding in 17. Race meeting at period of Japan and nationalism. The conflict between the lines. Which is China to turn its attention to running the film. We are I can serve that final item that we drop the US and the company of China that have a weak relation with the I've been really so clear that you can nurture us on the change of the American immigration. Next up is the kind of the president of the United States ought to choose a federal judge, Stuart Clemency, to establish a panel of distinguished citizens to advise as a clemency recommendation to both the president and state officials publicly announce a clemency policy and standards for considering particular cases and publicly commit to abide by those of those recommendations, direct the Justice Department to publish an annual report, explain the president's clemency policy in practice, and use changes in coronavirus uh, uh, release cooperation. And coerce governors into following the panel's recommendations. The newly established uh, U.S. pardon panel ought to, in perpetuity, a recommended par a partner economy station for any prisoner saving the death penalty or, uh, and any other any other sentences that violate the hand standard committee. It's false and legitimate. That states in 20. Criminal system is actually in quality clemency is actually unutilized by the century. We use this as we get a source of power to curb access to the single house of people that are taking over money by abrading structural wrongs by the way, lateral consciousness. And I can effectively know if I've got some of the effective use of clemency bargain to rehabilitate reputation. Independence saves the pardon and avoids backlash. That's loving 12. There's no other hardness panels until the rough power process. We're probably just working on power to see power of the voting on the first day process that you got to do that by clear standards applies consistently. And then another actor is that the one who went to institution final judges for your pardon duties. It is essentially controlling the agreement with prosecutors. So it's not making a establishing a panel of a unilateral president's watch and it's roughly announced that a standard to the accountability will have to be restored. And you can never feel confidence in that story. The Justice Department published it at any new part of the spending part and policy and impact turns the case prosecutorial discretion. That's Lewin 7. Unworthy racial certain decision making results from regarding conscious animus of the Azure Rise remain attended to race and never see thousands of conscious. I essentially that a prosecutorial decision making is essential for mitigating unwarranted and racial impurities. Frame and page. First way, it's going to impact the effective value. Imagine the probability is possible for all makers and balances thinking what solves errors. Terrorist men are 17. I saw you always thinking that it's going to be a low probability of 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 a Policy, solvency events, international follow on, and future court links. Third is predictions are good there. You'll know to chart the future and are accurate. 15 and 7. We're in the position of a long distance, and we're going to have a list of creating a very general force of the U.S. and making an assumption that there are casual leaks in the other lines. We're in the position of the other hand, 30 in the process of hiding a sense of the universe, changes to the research that's a day. The neighborhood of the neighborhood adjustments to the first generation has a reasonable level of quality, which are in the first generation. It's a good level of long term strategy, as you do planning the general term for the first Fourth, ever exited risks are likely. That's why we're seeing it. We're sending you to the national provision as likely to the experts of planning upon it. They warn that we will come to the research that's a good reason that casual provision are reasonable and reliable. Cause that doesn't seem social or societal reaction, which you access better. Six is their evidence includes suffering is bad and useful is the ultimate form of that. Anything else is a logical genocide. The advantage. First, what's all globally? The level at 19. It doesn't know you go to the right to each one twenty one states are the laws that have penalty. I didn't say direct legal and then here that the law means well actually can be to follow the other trying to get the benefit of a broad as well that change the SMT on your opening city tower that's an evolution of death penalty. Second word Jeff Crescent still ever claims court has certainly ruled on the issue in very narrow ways. It's like when considering penalty for minors, third is any death penalty won't solve. It will be replaced with type of parole. That's Miller Hanois in twenty. Left the police and penalty country uh can you each and the country because it's mindset will solve nothing and dance reason there of the challenging death penalty adjusting the person will actually assess the damage person. Anything else? Okay. For cross -hacks? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, status of the counter plans. Uh, conditional. What about the planks of the counter plan? Uh, that's a question for Sam. Uh, I think no to kicking planks. Is it? So it's there. Those are unconditional. No. Okay. The pardon counter plan. What's the net benefit? Uh, the internal net benefit and court packing. 
why what's the inter why why no, court hacking? Why does it avoid? Well, okay, oh yeah, why does it? Okay, I actually, I, I'll move there. The Flagaheimer evidence indicates that Trump will use his Supreme Court picks to sway electoral votes. Why is that the affirmative in liberal rulings? Well, uh, I would say that our evidence assumes uh, recent liberal rulings and says that Trump is sort of using liberal rulings. No, well, yeah. no. The it says that he's using that, his conservative picks yeah. to sway so, voters. Essentially, Why is that the in same the world as liberal of, ruling? Sure. So in the world of the AF, a li, um, it's a major liberal ruling. Trump will be like, look, the crazy radical Dems are abolishing things like the death penalty. Come vote for me and my amazing conservative justices. That's sort of the link. Okay, who, kind of like who, who flips their vote under that mindset then? Well, the Cone evidence indicates that Trump is losing a lot of white voters in certain battleground states. So we'd say that he kind of regains suburban white voters. Why do the white voters care about the death penalty ruling? Uh, well, because they see it as sort of like the, uh, I guess, leftist abolition of the criminal justice system. They perceive the AF as, they perceive the AF as uh, necessarily really le liberal and democratic. And so Trump is able to campaign on that and be like, look, I'm the law and order candidate. I'm going to prevent the Democrats from taking away our criminal justice system. Okay. The Japan decide who does Abe get replaced with? Uh, our evidence indicates, I don't remember his, uh, their name, Ishiba. Uh, it's not highlighted, but it's right before a vocal Abe what is Ashiba deck U.S. Japan relationships? Why, well, what, or, what 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 policy does he sway from in terms of aid? In terms of the relationship between sure. U.S. and Japan? The Shirashi evidence indicates that Abe's administration has in, implemented the defense program guidelines. They've taken time to sort of reestablish U.S. Uh, Japan China relations. He's concluded things about the TPP. I get what Abe has done. Fund. I'm asking what is the difference between that well, policy and the policy that would our be passed evidence by indicates the person. That, sure. Our, our evidence indicates that Abe has sort of uh, this is his stance on Japan China's, Chinese relations has been a fundamental shift from former Japanese politics and indicates that post or actually without Abe, those would not be rekindled. No, wh why does it indicate that? Where do you have evidence well, because, that the person yeah. that comes in? Yeah, go ahead. Thomas, there's two things here. First is we can isolate the Senkaku Island specifically as things that Abe's challengers have wanted to be more aggressive on, but Abe has not. Two is that our evidence is specific to how Abe is navigating the sort of balance between being in an alliance with the US and trying to economically engage with China. We'd say that uncertainty in that relationship is the internal link that our evidence specifies causes the impact. Oh, that makes sense. Um, I'll put it in the speech drop now. All right, just so everyone's on the same page here, after the one in C, right, we have six off. We have an elections dis, an elections dis ad. Uh, we have a con con counter plan, right? We have uh, an act, an act um, a court packing dis ad, a Japan specific like political dis ad. And um, the last counter plan is like a new uh, panel, right? That handles things like pardons, uh, just so everyone is keeping track of the flows and what's what we're dealing with going into the 2AC. I know we got another three people into uh, this webinar, so I'm sending the link again because I want to make sure everyone gets the documents if they want to follow along. And I think we're good for the order on the actors. What will be the advantage of framing um, T and Act, Con Con, Pardon, Court packing, elections, Japan. A question we had that I wanted to address before the 2AC began. The last two off in this 2AC has been called the Japan Disad and the Parting counter plan. That's what the 2AC has labeled these flows as. So, yep. Do you mind giving the order for the 2AC again? Yep. Um, the advantage, framing, T and act, the con con counter plan, the pardon counter plan, court packing disad, the 2020 elections disad, and then the Japan disad. Is everyone good for me to start? Cool. 
that affirmative steps led to three spy racism, torture, and dehumanization results in double, double solvency of, sol of physical and material violence on the line by line. They say the status quo solves global human or our Trump is reducing human dignity now, and any mitigation is good mitigation. They say reject um, the president's bill of rulings as the Supreme Court have to be followed anyways, and I'll answer this bill over clubs later. And then they say um, no life without parole, but three arguments execution is the opposite of justice, steals the opportunity to improve the potential for human life, outweighs life without parole. Second is that the government should never have the opportunity to decide who lives and who dies. It's, accept it's excessive power. And third is that the F solves versus court president. And the, you know, the, the Offsets a human dignity framework and saying this prosecutor's removes the ability to use the threat of death penalty to get the defendants to um, the life of the parole go to framing. All their arguments can be subsumed within a couple important arguments. First is that extinction is an ongoing process where people call it they're disproportionately affected by all attacks scenario. And the one is humans that the only ethical decision is one that doesn't view an extinction as in some uh, isolated event in the future. And second is that we should choose courses of action based on their ethical merit and we assess the merit of an action by judging its intrinsic moral worth. Actions that violate human dignity are categorically unethical. No ethical consequence can come from permitting the death penalty because to do so is unethical in itself. The negative must prove that death penalty does not violate the human dignity on the line by line. They say that, that we link to the conductive fallacy, but it's just a question of um, the, the end result of internal link chains. Our end result is, pres is probable because, it, um, because it's a court in, uh, versus extinction, which is not probable. And they say no root cause, but we didn't make a root cause come in. They say it's a logic of genocide, but it doesn't matter um, the, when, slow, when slow genocide is already happening in the status quo, go to see. We may plant eggs in a vacuum, counter interpretation, and negative established by legal action to judiciary actions are included in threat 13. Claiming an outcome that's a limited and defined as a legal defined as a fact that has an undefined order, thought of a unique legislative common law for the court and actual rules, and that can't the actual rules, all the little significant court of law, political law, and shifted from legislative laws. And three, they don't solve limits. The topic that already includes three topics plus more. And then four is that they're interpreted for limits. Topic says USFG, which should include all three branches. Five, predictability outweighs the ability that they can't fit on a new contrived version of the topic, even if it would be better. Six is that we don't justify unfair ask because in the AFSA, don't you such core and strategic and don't have advantages with impact. Seven, they overlimit the cases as minor rob death innovation and coins key and voice key controversy. Like ending the death penalty for eight is it's functional, functional limits solve counterpoint generic just as the limit base is limited. If nine is a better, um, the, it's a better effort for court topic discussions. Court and executive action are significant avenues. And the 10 default reasonability competing interpretations causes a race to the bottom and encourages shifting goalposts. Go to Hong Kong counterplan first firm. Do both um, firm do the counterplan doesn't solve the after U.S. Supreme Court is key because it's insulated. There are two deficits to the plan that the F avoids versus that constitutional convention triggers rollback of other constitutional values, including basis for citizenship. That's Coleman 18. Congo and Magnus Rob Lord said again to be political and mind of the world and constitutional values of the members should have been for Magnus that have been far too high of HPA and second is that political and cultural barriers make judicial action superior this common eighteen. The rebel is not a new to her and never could the police said it's better to her and any further than we don't judge over solid political culture of the many colleges and solar and likely interminable successful get you over all should have imaginable and process counterplans are vetting issues that are interpreted as the counterplan is a fiat process considered the adoption of a plan or not competitive the parting counterplan first from the event the second the counterplan doesn't solve future cases the one time event and the three doesn't solve human dignity no spill over to other forms of cruel and unusual punishment four it's still inherently torturous because they may still know if they will be pardoned five and the pardon doesn't go far enough it's reversible and the crime still on the record that's K19. Part of this federal credit vetted now to raise up and base of the being reversed and never said in the offensive side, but in a race of product of the convicted new crimes are found to be good content, to be good content enough for good far enough. Because the witness still to give you access up in the private funds, there's nobody outside of here. And quarter version is still there. And six, Trump would abuse the pardons he sent before. So if it is that it links to elections, pardons cause massive political backlash, it will affect the election outcome. That's Brand 19. Investigators regard a lot of public attention to president and the party may have covered some of the long-term debates and their rest of the game tactics politically. They would have shown the party for a political risk of a low to the re-election campaign starting next year to have the late low on future partisans. Condo is a vetting issue for argument responsibility, lowers the bar for 2AC, lowers the bar for argument introduction, which privileges a model debate that denies 2AC its best offense by preferring technical jobs over clash and encouraging asinine. Off case one, condo multiple offense laws. Their offense on the court packing decided it's non-unique as a double line. Trump is pitting his supporters against the Supreme Court. Either court pack is inevitable or won't happen instead because that is non-unique court pack. Now Trump already appointed 200 judges on the link debate. First, their link evidence is not specific to the death penalty. There's too many members. Race is essential for the no link for the extent program for the no one you see docket thumb second this can row in the Jew medical thumbs it utterly shatters Supreme Court conservatism and perceived as liberal betrayal by jurists. Hold on 20. Kids have been turning his rabbit in monumental abortion and ruling his rabbit called the discourse and every lot of the decision. Liberal the majority and all able to hurt his rabbit show credibility of recognition of abolition of abortion and the distortion today is that distortion of the independent judiciary. They understand the part of the nominee who refrain the refrain from legislating and extend on the shock to the shock thumbs. It was non president betrayal that marks the end of the conservative legal movement that's Boris 20.
is the first record of Gettery to get him the second author, Gore Sargent, Gore Sargent, and the Liberals as well, as well as, well as, as uh, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, Robert Sanders, Result of a Conservative Federal, Gore Sargent, the goal of the constitution extinction is to follow the extreme level of the possible to confidence forming in the severity of crimes will be committed so that after that of our decision extreme scenarios on the 2020 just that first case that ways I was framing their link evidence is terrible to that Trump picks for Supreme Court which is not unique and not about liberal rulings and Trump wins primary model is Mr. 5.9. Two thousand two hundred another beat, another beat, and examination of primary system. The struggle of the primary given all the Trump and 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 the Mr. Crowder should be the member of the U.S. Supreme Court and not let him the 20% identify the Robert Oshie more than half. And that's if they didn't know, and there's no Trump eternally in this. Barrow 17. Persuaded which Trump would accuse a Republican of the political constituency and that's why Trump would rather say, no, no, we're with his brothers, put it on the American for the Rockies. They got out of isolation as a rattle chamber of China, but as you got a Trump out of Canada for the U.S. Supreme Court within normal, and they actually would remain committed to the to the alliance on the Japan decide cross-ex proves our internal link chain. The international modeling isn't that great. It means we still solve for domestic instances of human dignity, which outweighs it means that we don't spill up to Japan. But in the regardless, LPD stays in power, structural factors that's more as 10. LPD was a driver, was out of charge, but the left was a bit economic, better with the photo supporter, social part of their photo permitted, the fabric of Japanese politics, and the law to continue the electoral prolonged, and the Japanese tenure that allowed LPD to retain power, find me more cards. And black swans, some voters are, voters are malleable to people who care about other things more. Their Johnson evidence is not specific to the death penalty, it's not predictive in the sense that the plane causes Japan specifically to follow on, and their evidence is not reverse causal, only says the support is high, not the reduction of it would have severe backlash, and also the death penalty is not the linchpin in undermining security. Their, their evidence is it never makes this claim, and public support for their retention isn't predictive. Japanese attitude should put top down reform that's instead of 14. Which brings people to dream about other federal federal limits of toleration, defined a barbarity of the past, and defined a struggle for preservative death penalty out of the public may consider abolition as a bearable or acceptable. And regardless, there is no impact economic independence, threats of US intervention, and possible defeat, caps, you know, Japanese conflict escalation, giving the card from the one who said he didn't read. That's Moss 13. Several reasons why the board is very unlikely for the better vision is that so 90% of you would be a real possibility, second is a economic, and under tenants, and the panic would have further depressed economy, three appeal is the operational effectiveness of the inequality of US intervention, six China policy, and voting military competition, seven uh, China socialization, China would have seen the regional hurting against it further still. Uh, back to court packing. June medical ignited conservative hiring from the fears of liberal court. That's Roman 20. Looters and honors court has said Robert Philip Kennedy, who will be best out of engaged conservative after the Robert has betrayed a rule of intervention. And this is serious power for the better of the court. It seems like politics instead of Robert's so-called conservative king. And the court best out of evidence. The court is now in a way conservative. Robert could be any bigger. This is probably what is our second amendment today's. And they refer to the jury to source judiciary. And Bostock was a landmark progressive ruling that files in face of past conservative orthodoxy. That was, those are just the one AC cards. I didn't get read. So you just read the the June medical card from the one AC and then like the tag yeah. of the Bo stock card. Yeah. Okay. You good for cross X? Yes. Uh, I want to talk about the Japan DA. Cool. At the top, you're like our internal link isn't great. Are you kicking the like international scenario modeling uh, stuff? No, we're not necessarily kicking it. We just think that you were pretty good in cross X about uh, how like we don't have a, that great of an internal link chain. So we're not so, explicitly kicking it. We just think that you probably win that we don't spill up. So we win that you don't internationally spill over, but sure, yeah. also you still solve global abolition. Yeah, we were pretty bad in cross X on that. I, so I don't understand we, we how you still- We never said we solved for global abolition. We never said we okay. solved for global abolition. That's fine. We just, yeah, uh, said that you beat us on that. Sure. Uh, the f framing page, I, I guess the, the argument for the conjunctive fallacy, you were like, it's the question of our, the end re results of our mm -hmm. internal link chains. Does that yeah. mean that in impact evaluation, Judges should only evaluate the impact because that's no, like no, no. That the was just a that was just specifically about the conjunctive fallacy argument. We think that in evaluating uh, impact scenarios, it's about probability, and that um, like obviously our F is probable court decisions. That's a thing, but we think that extinction being viewed as an isolated event 
in that uh, like your whole contrived disad scenarios and internal link chains are well, more Well, what's the bright line for something being a contrived or far off scenario? Um, I don't have like a numerical bright line for it. I would just assume if we can see that it's happening now, it's probably more probable than you're the one in C. Okay, so okay. Uh, I want to talk about the court packing disadvantage, the Olahan evidence. So this card is like the turning point USA founder didn't like the June medical. Where does it say that like the entirety of the GOP thought this was like a court ruling that totally switched the court? Conservatives being turning against Roberts are monumental. Well, I think it's After one conservative the, from... Conservatives, plural, are turning against Roberts. What other conservatives does this card say? Um, uh, presumably the other conservatives in the Supreme Court. I, I, okay. Uh, the con con counter plan, mm -hmm. the Coleman evidence is just like there are political and cultural obstacles to amending the constitution. Yeah. Why doesn't fiat solve all of that? Oh, uh, well, you would have to like have a warrant for fiat. And secondly, that it's not about, or, we think that, well, no, it's not like legal obstacles. It's like structure, like structural, political, and like social obstacles, but which fiat doesn't usually check. So, like, what uh, what's the impact to that like some people don't like the counter plan do you think those people aren't no like is that the, the counter plan wouldn't work because there are like ingrained inherent obstacles so that, there are inherent... that jurisprudence uniquely overcomes this evidence is comparative in that aspect uh no i'm making the comparison okay. but also yeah it's probably comparative it's a good card oh uh reasons to reject the team process, process counter, counter plans, plans and, and condo. condo yeah perfect uh, we're going to start prep once we get in the call. I'll let you know when that is. Yeah, I'll call you, Sam. Oh, or I can call you, Brendan. Oh, yeah, you just call me. Sorry about this delay. Myself. Can you hear me? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yeah. Great. yeah, starting now. Oh. All right, uh, so we just saw the 2AC, hope everyone could follow along pretty well. Some things I wanted to bring attention to. Uh, one is the number of analytics that are packed into this 2AC, right? It's not just cards, right? There's also a number of other arguments uh, that are in between the evidence that they're slipping in. There are a bunch of logical arguments. They incorporate cross-ex, right? All things that a good 2AC will do to make sure they're getting the most out of the time they have in this kind of speech. Um, Another thing, right, is at the end of the 2AC, there's some extra time. There's early communication to the 1A, like I need more evidence. That's something you wanna do if you have more time in your speech, see if your 1A, if, if your 2A can get you some more evidence to introduce at the end of your speech, rather than just like having to come up with some things on the top of your head, right? You can have your partner uh, help you out to make sure you're getting the most out of that extra time you have at the bottom of your speech. Something interesting that happens in this speech is a, Almost some sort of a cross X concession, right? There's a moment in cross X that the AF realizes it might be beneficial and they're like, hmm, maybe this might have some utility uh, in, in, in the debate in the long run, right? Uh, in cross X, they try to, you no, know, operate on this thin line of, you know, we still saw, but you had some good points. And I think that introducing that into the debate has some utility of itself. So not something you see very often, but something you may want to consider. Um, let's see. Uh, something you might want to also keep in mind is uh, cross X. Look at what the uh, one and asked about in cross X of the 2AC, right? There might be a correlation between what sort of decides end up later in the debate and what questions were asked. So make sure that in, in your debates, if you're a one and cross X the 2A, sometimes you want to ask about the positions that you might be taking. So you can clarify those sort of positions. You don't show too much of your hand, right? There were a couple of decides that questions were asked about, but, uh, at least you're kind of making sure you're in a good position going into your speech. And uh, the F probably has an indication now of what, what they might need to spend some time on in the 1AR, and they can use this time effectively. The last thing I wanted to touch on is this counter plan, the party and counter plan specifically. We don't know if this will Stop actually crap. in the block. Sure, thanks, Sam. I'm going to finish up this note right here. We don't know if this counter plan will be in the block, right? But you should look at the text of the count in the 1 and C in comparison to the 2 C's arguments and maybe think about how would you approach this type of counter plan uh, extending it based on the 2 C's answers because there's a lot in that counter plan text. So if it's not in there, 
you all should definitely go back and look through those documents and look at how the Tweezy's arguments relate to the counter plan text. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I stopped at 540. Uh, Brendan called me, but I, I, okay. Sorry about that. We didn't. Uh, okay, I, I just didn't know if you had something. But yeah, I stopped prepped at five. Stopped prep at five forty. Uploading the two and see now. It should be in the future. The order is going to be uh, the Japan this ad. Harding Counterplan, T-Enact, ConCon Counterplan, Framing, and the Advantage. Uh, I'm going to give that order again in a second after I open the doc, uh, laptop. Order one more time is going to be the Japan Desad, the Pardon Counterplan, T Enact, Con Con Counterplan, Framing, and then the Advantage. Anybody not ready? Great. Japan, this ad not going for is can see there's no internal link to international follow on, which will become important later, but independently can see the impact, which means no residual offense for the problem counter plan. Can see the permutation, we're not going forward with a condo debate, frame it through side bias, an objectively true topic with assume surveillance immigration press powers makes debate structurally more difficult for the negative, therefore counter interpretation we get condo advocacy, but can't counter plan the two and C. Oh, one is a present negative adaptation, only counter plan put explanation pressure on the app that check infinite rare interpretation while incentivizing neg research to a sandbagging their model, meaning that it means the best half arguments become two AC add ons that stick us with the counter plan and put the neg structurally behind three is content. Warning counter plan prolip is key to a virtual cycle of searching for the best argument on both sides evolving generics force half innovation force no offense competitive incentives obviate research uh, T speed and DA prolip are all causing to skew five is the reasonability there uh, and infinite things could, could make debate good but no reasonable way to predict them internal wing turns offense by crowding out substance and collapsing neg equity they should win we make debate impossible they say one counter uh, counter plan it's a bad it's arbitrary which internal link turn and it is a stasis point for uh, which is internal link turns it as a stasis point for uh, pr uh, preparation and links to their offense Go to T. So, uh, uh, political uh, uh, topical affirmatives so can't use a court that gives them plenty of ground, like any immigration now qualified immunity, DNA, fingerprints, Gitmo, police militarization, etc. While limiting out apps that use the courts, that's the only way to create structural fairness because multiple agent is a force to research an entirely new set of counterplants, DAs, and app mechanisms independently. Dex education by stretching the neck too thin. They say plantex in a vacuum. They don't need plantex in a vacuum is a terrible standard. One is it lets them retroactively reinterpret the app, which makes being night impossible and encourages vagueness. I clarify that in the 2AC links to our offense, choose independently a voter because it makes and we have to extend a T interpret to get stable and ground functional exposed to topic three is default to cross sex answers and solvency advocates because that's we, we, they were a conscious choice for the app and are therefore a clear standard for what the app would do it's but links are based off of, they say that we don't solve limits not going forward but the supercharges ground because it proves that generics are key as they they rob us of them they say over limits ground is massive on the topic most federal agency have policing power plus all of immigration most of surveillance which i did on the condo flow it's try or die for neg generics which means forcing a completely different set of generics is uniquely bad congress key warranted checks and provides a functional limit on the topic since less better evidence debate is better and more educational have haven't proven why Congress is comparably worse against states. They say predictability outweighs arbitrary and this provide, proves that if predictability is close, debatability should be the tiebreaker, but will win that with a predictability debate. We're best for legal precision, which is the best standard for predictability because it's how the resolution would actually be interpreted. McMurdy is an actual judge looking at common usage and analyzing the trend of court cases to see how an act should be interpreted. Right is a JD candidate, which implicates their understanding of actual judicial use and precludes precision. The Supreme Court agrees that's clear too. The judgment was on an act and an act was a product of legislation, not adjudication. Right, argue, the rights argument is asked 
asinine. Any says any that, that judicial procedure spills over to general law of making that's true at all five. Rules are not extended federal jurisdiction to implement existing jurisdiction, federal jurisdiction may not be extended by court enacted rules, courts are limited process uh, only uh, power authorized by statute. Say say don't justify unfair apps. It's a question of models and uh, uh, competitive incentive always pushes teams towards apps that win to lease. Departure from the status quo doesn't matter when we don't get generics. That was above. They say over limits, answer that above, but the TVA do the plan through Congress solves their offense because you can talk about the interaction between Congress, the courts, and the states. They say functional limits, no generics in a world well, of, of, of courts because it's separate lit based politics, states, federalism, etc. all have different versions for courts because the legal action of the court is unique, preferred depth over breath. That was above. They say key to uh, the topic discussion. Court counter plan makes education in inevitable. It means uh, it's not better because uh, uh, spending the neg too thin prevents in depth research, but giving the neg the court's counter plan as a court generic ensures in depth research. Reading a book solves also. It's about, it's about viable debates. TVA solves this. That was above. They see reasonability. They have it. Aren't reasonable. That was above. Prefer competing interps. Uh, uh, check judge intervention arbitrariness that turns their argument and links to fairness. Go to con con. Counterpoint solves 100% of the case. Has the states pass a constitutional amendment about dignity and the death penalty default to sufficiency framing is only quantifying why solvency deficit outweighs the net benefit as a stable basis for debate. They say from debate to the links to the courts, which is the basis for the link, simultaneously magnifies the link by courts getting involved is perceived as redundant. Actively choosing to intervene proves judicial activism. Three is reject perms without a text since various interpretations and perm prolif make stable neg answers impossible. They say perm to the counterpoint that competes. Suffers the USFG. That's what's 76. Federal government and central government is from states resolved. It implies me. They say that's random how six to come to a decision. Severance is better with some dissolved link ground, making it impossible to write a competitive counter plan. They say it doesn't solve the app. Yes, it does. That was the overview. No, it got to insulation and the states are equally insulated because they're a separate legislative body. They say robot limited conventions are solved since only the death penalty would be considered and we fiat no subsequent convention. So no risk of future uh, of a future rollback. They say judicial is key. Fiat solves the evidence sides political obstacles with fiatting overcomes that that was cross X because it, it means that only the death penalty would be considered. Amendment is comparatively better. That was the evidence I read above it. Or, 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 uh, uh, I'll read that. Yeah, uh, the basic process counterpoint theory, bad counter process counterpoints are good. We get plan made a uh, plan mandate counterpoints with a specific mechanism, key to in a ground uh, on an already unlimited topic. Only way to test the mechanism of the app, depending it solves that and its counterpoints make their impact inevitable. Extra resolutional theory is it a voter. I did that on the other flow and reject the argument, not the team. Get a framing. At the top, there's no, the, the extinction is not is, is is unique for people of color because biological death is uniquely worse since it precludes all other actions or modes of being. So it means you should overcorrect away from extinction events. We outweigh in their framing. That's the Harris evidence. Our impacts are different because they affect how societies operate as a whole rather than a specific aspect like the death penalty. Paternalism, DA people not committing mass suicide right now proves that there's some inherent value to life, which the internal link turns this argument. Any other logic prioritizes some lives over other, which is the logic of genocide and internal link turns their argument. They say ongoing violence first, no violence accumulation that was above no root cause because we shape systems more bodily that was also above these yes x risk that's why we have a psychological bias towards valuable and immediate threats which is why it feels right that ongoing violence outweighs and we just uh, gained extinction level capacity which means that it's uniquely different 0.2 percent doesn't assume trump or the changes that, that, that is the d which is going to be come important on the dissent flow they see ethics consequences focus is key anything else is tautological because it relies on consequences to justify it. the da is just a cate as categorically unethical as the office they say makes action impossible no it doesn't something is cause extinction and others don't. Death of all humans is calculable as some, which is means extremely low probability can be dismissed, but we should have that probability debate. They say paradox, no impact, just weigh consequences. They say immorality, we prevent immoral consequences. That was above. The, uh, the, the, they say uh, the, the, the internal link, they say that they link to the conjunctive fallacy you see less, but no, they don't because things like prosecutorial decisions and individual actors prove that there's still an infinite chain of internal links. They say that you that, that, that slow genocide that weighs, but there's no reason why slow genocide should be preferred over overall genocide, and they're agreeing you genocide as in, que per in question is bad proves that prioritizing some lives over others is the logic of genocide go to the advantage Dignity. There's no human dignity spillover. But that's sacred. The fundamental injustice of mass incarceration in America, which has been upheld for decades, means that human dignity is a fundamentally constrained from making meaningful change. Judges are unwilling to go against the broader system. Strength of dignity is not enough. Overcoming incapacitation is penal rationale is a prerequisite to reject retribution. That's sin as well. It'll take more than dignity to overcome degradation, punishment, challenges, enable a rare break in public representation, social and legal culture are being codified to play is if you're under, under dignity. The international follow-on argument, they've conceded that it's a sliding scale, and that sliding scale is unlikely in the Japan that means I don't need to reinvent the wheel. They don't get an international follow-on argument, but state follow-on, they dropped it because Mia said that she'd do it later, but then didn't do it later. Death penalty is declining now. That's followed. Public pressure and international movement ensure that there's an overall trend against the death penalty frames their defense because it's about specific administrations or governors, but our evidence is saying that those are down as elections change. States won't use the human dignity, which uh, got spillover and international signaling. That's second second 16. State court have open regulation that a person should be accountable. 
constitution, the CCA created its own approach bills on outdated zero type new is defended to satisfy traditional criteria of an executed related problem in Florida. Their relation very different depending on jurisdiction willingness. And uh, and, and uh, they say the broader trend proved, uh, oh, sorry, and broader trend proves decline. That's negative 18. Capital punishment does not have a deterrent de effect. We do significant decrease in debt. Uh, the sentence is an execution 36 days to abolish the death penalty. The domain of a small percentage of US countries, even these have effectively eliminated the death penalty from generating legitimacy. Uh, the life without parole, we're not going for it. But their only substantive answer was that precedent spillover, which means that any chance we undermine that means they make lives worse. Let me get some water and then I'm good for y'all. Okay. okay, whenever you're ready. Uh, the paternalism disad, why, did, uh, why does the F result in the logic of genocide? There are people who are choosing not to commit genocide now, or not to commit suicide now. The F is saying, since vi violence is not unique, that's equivalent to saying that we should let everybody die. That's obviously problematic logic, because there's a I reason that I'm people- I'm sorry, I just genuinely don't happen. understand uh, yeah, sure. the distinction in how you got from the F saying ongoing violence matters to like, like all lives matter. Well, so no, I, I think that's a mischaracterization of our argument because the like argument, well, do you want me to explain the general util thing or the- No, I understand what util is. I'm just uh, curious as to how we link to the paternalism. What's the net benefit to Kong Oh, also what's the net benefit to Kong Kong? Courts or whatever the, is gonna be in the uh, one and R. So court packing, probably, yeah. okay. The, the uh, paternalism they said, the way that you link to it is because you're saying that like, Extinction is not unique. There's currently ongoing violence. We're saying that that ongoing violence isn't equatable to the death of every single person on earth. And even the violence that's going again, like the violence that's happening right now, isn't causing the literal death of some people in those groups, which means that literal death would be like just empirically worse because we've isolated why like mm -hmm. telling people that you should die takes away their self-determination because they're choosing not to commit suicide right now. I guess that's fine. Why are, on T, why are Supreme Court decisions like a better a uh, precedent in their conviction if like the Supreme Court is like isolated and stuff? I don't understand your question. Why is your evidence better on TV? Oh, because all the courts in the United States rely on precedent, for, rely on precedent from the Supreme Court. But actually, I think that Scalia isn't even the killer here because your evidence cites court enacted rules and the similar evidence says that those things refer to like the way that courts do judicial procedure. So like no like lawyer is going to open the like open the manual for how to like, you know, what how much time each side has to speak and at the end say, oh, yeah, and by the way, the death penalty has been abolished. That doesn't make sense. But that's essentially what Wright is saying, which proves that Wright is an underqualified rando like writing about what they think, which is okay. obviously uh, part is better. That's fine. Process counterplans. Is the counterplan immediate? Um, we'd say that the counterplan has some level of deliberation, but that deliberation it happens before August, which is when the next In the text, it says the in a timely penalty. matter, correct? Pardon? A timely matter or manner? Timely manner? Yes. Yes. We what is that, a timely manner? We think there's deliberation, but that deliberation happens before August 27th, which is when the next death penalty in the United States is scheduled for. Okay. Um. Um. I guess like on T. I'm confused as to which, uh, I still, I guess I'm confused on this question of evidence. It seems to me that Supreme Court decisions are like highly insulated from the public. Therefore, like a JD candidate probably would be better in the sense of like- right, They're, they're insulated things. from the public, but they, like it doesn't go the other way around because they rely on public uses okay. of a word as well as legal uses and see which one would be better. Uh, the one in our doc has been sent or uploaded to the speech drop. Is everyone good for an order? Yeah, it's going to be the elections to and then court packing. Okay, uh, does anyone need the order again? Uh, is anyone not good? I need a second. Okay. To get the doc. And Thomas as well. Okay, I'm good whenever you are. Okay, everyone else good? Yeah, all right. 
Couldn't say that the link was bad and that there's no impact at home. Don't allow the one error to add any new cross a new cross applications from this. If anything, justifies new uh, new to in our arguments. Uh, if they try to cross uh, crossfire court shield the link, the evidence about the public, not the GOP, and it's from 2012. The uh, uh, court packing disadvantage. The plan causes Republican court packing extinction for warming outweighs the case. It causes existential catastrophes that make the earth unlivable. Turns the case. Uh, first is ecological extremism justifies massive state violence and warming disproportionately impacts people of color. That second is courts uh, conservative courts prevent fear of future civil uh, liberal CGR rulings and undermine the precedent of the. Yeah, the court's conservative court's turn case makes it more impossible. Strike down the rules, CGR, and Greenland, uncharged conservatives, and that's the last year of 20. Of course, we're going to be watching the IMF, 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 uh, the first will concede that the argument that Trump doesn't, uh, uh, Trump's actions are on the court's stone, uh, sway the public. But even if this, uh, but even if the public doesn't matter, because this is a question of internal GOP actions, which uh, is the conceded sort of link and uniqueness framing for this disadvantage. No packing now, that's Roseburg evidence. Conservatives perceive the pressure on the court is effective, making them uh, comfortable to holding up radical corporate uh, packing proposals. But sentiment could shift. The uh, uh, next argument, it's not packed now. The framing issue, he still states that Republican circuits means net ide a core ideological change has been. Function zero. They have no evidence on this question. Trump's only average in car packing and uh, trades on increases in increase Miller 20. As much as government chips in the draw, there are because Andy's layer chips in the ultimate of the same position in our tradition. They packing limited now. That's Goblin and Mangle in 19. I've had every public release of these are enjoying their car. I let them raise the security station only marking that can drive combination proper each of their core phone with as you work at the layer. I went to your self nomination that the other country's going to turn it hardly enjoying the public. I don't need only two to the ninth of the village and every close. I get to the only one of those two to the least of the administration. One that I second and then the first said that a next argument. Argument is uh, the next argument. The there, even if our evidence isn't specific, they've conceded that the act is perceived as a liberal ruling, which causes all of our internal links. Republicans will play hardball. That's Rosemary evidence. The absence of signal the Republicans have been undermined in the courts, which forced them into, into radical action because they perceive the courts as key to other broader ideological goals. It outweighs their evidence is normative because reforms are superficial, proven by McConnell not even rescheduling the how modest how CGR proposed for a vote, abolishing the death penalty, dovetails with the increased total liberal support. That's not in the 16. 77 Republicans will wear the penalty, but it's used for the other person. Nobody's going to catch the Republicans will wear the penalty. Which has about 80% of the average of majority Democrats believe that the national is the biggest human. A race policy has 70% of the Republicans who are born in the Republican language. If you have them to overcome the PHW, the court is deliberately silent on criminal justice, placated the conservative wing. Plan heralds the arrival of new liberal bloc. That's Waters in 18. As from the nominee, the PHW is the world of evidence of the right criminal justice. We're receiving a separate criminal justice. The lowest of the order. Better candidate than the president. You think that we are judging the judges of the action of the center of the liberal candidate? Other general respect to the other exceptions derived from criminal rights. So the problem is unfortunate. The experience is adult. Addressing the movement of waste on their change to the court of the challenge. The apps of judicial both in the blue. Obviously, get thumpers because the Republicans have saw those coming, but the apps liberal statue from nowhere is just an ire from the fear of future of spontaneous liberal rulings. Their evidence only says that a few special interest conservatives were mad, but none of it speaks to the broader uh, conservative rejection of the court. That DACA thumper framing issue, their evidence just says to Rand Paul and Ted Cruz were pissed. That only our evidence speaks to a broader conservative perception. Also, it's all for sin. That was not conservative. They that conservative. Of course, we're on top of the scene. The lost person playing nothing. If anything, whether the public or the majority of the separate people, the majority of the right is the main. Or top of the main or top of the authority. We have more human rights. We're going to be the one on top. We're not going to have a political party. We're going to use the words and always be around the opposition. I'm trying to do that. It's wonderful. I'll show you a few medical. Republicans saw it coming. And it's a really conservative win. Coil and 20. I thought you were going to get the key to 26. And they're going to be the result of the control for years. A lot of people are going to be in the church. And they're 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 going to be it was really limited. That's for second twenty. I promise I'm going to come to the limit of the illusion of the other. I said, I'm going to go to Next argument is uh, that where you should not dump. Courts resolve any risk of the EPA, which sort of parameter evidence indicates the court uh, also also solve any of their other arguments and cross apply prove uh, proof that Trump doesn't record relations. Packed at uh, the Ninth Circuit, they have no evidence on the question or above evidence that we read indicates it's only packed to justices. Warming does, does cause extinction. It, it, it causes ecological catastrophes. Their evidence is uh, bad on this question. It's uh, existential and 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 nineteen. I 
Charge melting metal is really going to increase warming. Charge card melting increases warming. Eight minutes starting now. All right, so we saw a strong block there. We had a two and C that extends, or like sets up at least a two, two in our options, right? We have topicality and the con con counter plan. Uh, some things that you should recognize from the two and C, and there's a great explanation on the T flow of why plant sex in a vacuum might not be as appealing as people think. I, I suggest it is in the document, so I suggest you go over and read through and think about some of those arguments that are presented on T and how you might package your answers uh, to the same arguments that TWC had made, maybe some arguments you think you want to integrate into your blocks. If you haven't really thought deeply about top county, this is a good chance to do so. There's a hefty defense of conditionality, including a counterinterpretation, right? So their counterinterpretation is like you can't counterplan in the 2NC, so no 2NC counterplans, which the negative believes resolve some of the offense that the app is presenting, um, right? But they spend a lot of time there making sure that uh, they kind of dissuade the AF from going for conditionality bad or extending that in the 1AR. Um, something the 2NC also takes advantage of is avoiding repeating, explaining warrants and things like that, right? So a lot of times in the speech, there's like, here's our claim that was explained above, right? The phrase that was above was used a lot in this 2NC, right? You don't want to re-explain things you've explained before. So if you've already explained the implication of an argument or the warrants or they're pre presented in the overview, you want to point those things out rather than repeating them to save yourself time to be able to get to the next argument efficiently. Uh, efficiently. And that's what allows this twin C to uh, make so many arguments and really put a lot of pressure on the 1AR and how many things uh, they were able to cover in just eight minutes. All right. Uh, then the 1NR uh, goes for this court packing this ad. Something you should have recognized after the one in C is the elections dissent and the court packing dissent actually had the same impact. They're both talking about climate change, the ability to push back against it. Right, so those are some things to take into account. Um, there's a hand raised. If you want to submit a question or something like that, go ahead and do that through the Q&A so I can address those questions. Yeah, these just have the same impact, right? They went to, they went with the court packing argument, um, was extended in very in-depth, lots of evidence integrated into these five minutes and such. I do want to address those questions if you have them, so feel free to submit those to the Q&A. Um, All right, I haven't gotten any yet, so I'll assume everyone's on the same page. Christina, do you have any uh, thoughts after this block, any input? Uh, some of the things I was thinking about were um, just, I guess, more on uh, court hacking, and whether or not you think how, if you all were in this debate, how would you resolve, like where do you think that 1NR really kind of loaded up on evidence and think about why maybe evidence was needed um, on some of those internal links given the nature of the thumpers. Um, a lot of times I think the places where the negative block tends to read like five or six pieces of evidence uh, is because maybe that was maybe the weaker part of the disad and the one NR tried to, or the negative tries to save some of their time in order to address that and, and kind of overcover or have lots of reasoning um, to kind of sometimes scare away the 1AR from being able to resolve all of those different warrants because it puts them under a unique amount of time pressure to resolve those parts of the debate or not resolve them, but at least answer or respond to all of them. Uh, so I, I thought about that a little bit. And then also they seem as if 
there one question I thought about T and ACT that I always kind of have about this particular T violation was uh, I totally agree with Ashton. I think there's a good example of, you know, why plant text in a vacuum is not like an ideal argument. Um, and I thought the negative did a pretty good job of responding to that. Notice there was also a case list on T and ACT that kind of said here the different things that could be affected. Um, something else I thought was unique because I think the primary problem with this T violation is that the education is probably inevitable. It's more of a question of whether or not the NEG should get the court's counterplan or whether the AF should get the court's affirmative. So it seems they need to kind of be able to address the you know, do we, does it matter, I guess, in educational claims, whether or not you need neg flex versus AF bias? So um, consider whether or not you think the negative needs that education or that generic. Yeah, thank you. So quickly answer some of the questions that were uh, proposed, right? What is the impact of the court packing disset and how is it a net benefit to the counter plan, right? So the link differential argument that the negative is making is about who basically gets the blame. How do the, how does the GOP perceive the two plans, right? The counter plan is mainly states acting, right? There's nothing happening at the federal level other than states passing an amendment to the constitution, whereas the plan has Trump spearhead some sort of plan, which there isn't their explicit link, but right, that's what you should be thinking about when you're thinking about why it's a net benefit to the counter plan. Um, the LWOP argument, uh, I think that was an attempt for the 2NC to uh, explain what this argument meant for the rest of the debate and prescribe how the judge should interpret that argument, even though they're not making it like a focus of the debate, right? That's always something you want to do when you're not going for an argument. You want to explain what does this mean for the debate if I'm not going to extend it into the next speech and make that clear to the judge. And then the last uh, question we'll address, uh, I think we'll address a little bit later, maybe in preparation for one of the rebuttals is about flowing and uh, how Ms. Phillips is able to write a few words per tag and do it so quickly. So we'll come back to that, uh, but that's definitely something uh, you can pay attention to, right? Very, a uh, great example of flowing that's happening on that screen. Also, just so you know, I'm typing a response to that one, so you all can just see it in the, in the Q&A. Great. Uh, Sarah Bell. Uh, Mia might send out some cards. Yeah, Mia's sending out some cards. Are you sending them out? Oh. Yeah, I can do that. Um, it'll be like on the counter plan, so it'll be further into the 1AR, which I'll send out. Or sorry, the descent. I'll give the order while me is doing that though. It's a case, framing, T, the counter plan, the descent. Sorry, one more time. Uh, case, framing, T, the counter plan, then the descent. Um, what does that sound? Is that me? Yeah, I think it's echoing, <laughs> like. Sorry, everybody. Jeez, Mia, you're holding up the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's put up there. All right, cool. Uh, does anyone need the order again? All right, cool. I think someone in the Q&A asked. Oh, okay, that's all good. Uh, case framing, T, the con-con counterplan, then the court packing disad. Is anyone not ready? Cool. 
The app stops safe sanctuary killing of violence, abolishing the death penalty, establishes a precedent that can be used to challenge other forms of cruel and unusual punishment, like life without parole, encourages global movements towards population, capital punishment is racist, enforced by division, oversight, tortures, and inherently dehumanizing prisoners because the justice system can never be perfect. It's statistically certain that innocent people will continue to be executed. Their argument about the Simon evidence doesn't assume that the court precedent can be used in a future races, which is why we rule on the grounds of human dignity. The state follow one claim doesn't assume that southern states aren't the ones which are decreasing their use of the death penalty. The NYT evidence indicates that Trump is rapidly ramping up the death penalty at the federal level, which means that even if states stop it, it is a direct answer to the con account of the striker evidence the states will use him to giggity. That proves why the constitutional con account con plan cannot solve our larger spillover claim as to why we can solve domestic issues in the Supreme Court ruling. The framing page at the top, structural vibe dispossession is responsible for the ongoing death of communities of color, which is based on human rights violation and death row and late climate change and state sanction killing. Now, that has a couple of implications. Ace appointed that ethicality has to come first. If we win, the, 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 the dissent necessarily pushes our discussion of structural violence to the back burner. We just win this round because inherently have the ethical beast point is the root cause of the psychological and dehumanization required to justify death to penetrate the same logic that justifies genocide, even if capital punishment doesn't cause genocide. It proves why you have a moral obligation to reject the anything and to interrupt the cycle of violence that causes on the behalf of reattribution. Now, third is probability first, why try certain deaths, even if they win the dissent, that all future extinctions on during the F undoubtedly saves lives and removes the possibility for uncertain death. Now, the old course says that Hiroshima and Nagasaki will ultimately triumph to the utilitarian done. Now, retrospective scene is unnecessary atrocities, which should give all of you a pause by referring to the two in our belly about that. Their internal links being true. Now, the, uh, the third is a Kamaski evidence in case that improving people's lives will cause a ripple effect that solves a catastrophe. You're taking small incremental steps because of human dignity is better method of resolving a patriarchy okay, and existential risk, but their framing doesn't solve ours. This framing doesn't solve ours. That's why you have to think it about probability first because probability times back to you. It's impossible when you debate about imitation impacts and infinity times infinity. Small numbers still infinity, which causes decision paralysis. It means it's impossible to take any action. It proves why there's no constitutional bias to the other uh, the other way around, especially when those are uh, structural issues the prisoners facing death row does not affect you, which means that structural lines flip the other way, the paternalism offense doesn't apply, because that's the same all lives matter logic that pushes things to the back runner and says that we know to solve things better for you, and we can't focus on structural violence now, which is paternalizing logic to tea debate at the topic, then the counter interpretation, the right evidence is simply forced to be here, and it says that the courts can and act, because they make a role, and then enact that ruling in the legislation, which means we have the most contextual evidence to the legal precision standard, but we use you to talk to our competing interpretation now, a secondarily, you to prefer our evidence on the question, our evidence has the intent to define it, and unequivocally clear the conviction of the world in act, secondarily, the evidence is not predicted, right? It's more universal use and commonly accepted than public because the student is more well versed in public. Supreme Court decision or isolated from the general public leads are bad determined for education. Their terminal impact is functionally ground, but they conceded that limits are determined ground, which means that we would have said we don't keep the topic to a limited amount, and we uh, still solve that. Now, secondarily, still get any ground offense considering that courts, you can distribute courts into politics and still get all of your same Congress offense, which means you don't have any disputes and negative ground, but regardless, they conceded of the education is that which indicates that courts are the key controversy of the topic. Not only do they deal with the largest portion of of it, which is sentencing, but they are the literal enactors of criminal justice policy in the status quo as per the right evidence, which means they exclude a whole functional body of literature in favor of slow and shallow debates around court packing uh, around Congress down a plan. Now, secondarily, that proves why you should have had ground considering that uh, argument is that it's all your research data because you can uh, uh, criminal justice is a core controversy centered around research, which means inevitable that you research it anyway, regardless, you should default to reasonability because there being interpretations and crowds out substance, and uh, there will never be judge intervention, which means the only question of whether or not our community interpretation solves better than TBA does. So the TBA doesn't solve our app because the well, congressional decision doesn't access the same kind of human dignity framing which courts would rule on through the informative. Now, there are, um, um, anything else? Con con. At the top, the 1AC, the third card of the 1AC indicates that the GOG is able to take over state cases, which is a major solvency evidence as to why even if the state's rule, the death penalty be other constitutional Trump will still wrap up death penalty in federal prison, which the affirmative does not solve for, or the counter plan does solve for, in which case permutation do both is functionally competitive, which is the, the action of the counter plan just results in the action of the plan. Now, it also links to the day, it links to the net benefit. If the court bracketing is true, then Trump sees it as a, state, as a federal infringement on the federal laws when the state uh, ramping down is de escalating his death penalty, which should obviously be seen as a liberal rule in his eyes. Now, second, nearly it proves why the deference framing is necessarily a bad thing, because it links to all of our framing about why the time frame differential would be necessarily net worse. Now, the uh, process counter plans are bad. A support his delay counter plans are terrible for reform, and it should be rejected. Nay, uh, for a sense, uh, totally unrealistic and arbitrary delay counter plan. Now, today, ground is terrible and the cheating if we have one. Now, there's no other tech mechanism with the app. Uh, this happened. Uh, the uniqueness of faith, they can see to the most also evidence on the election. This that which means Trump is getting elected never, which means the court packing is functioning never. It's not a question of the liberal ruling, uh, which he can make, but rather a question of if he's in office long enough to back the rest of the court, which we subsumes all the uniqueness evidence. Now, there are three liberal rulings that already took place. Uh, but it's not a question of whether or not they saw them coming or not, but there's folks mentally liberal rulings that should have caused a court packing. DACA goes talking in the June medical. We're all in, we're all into the liberal ruling that should have triggered the link. Now, the uh, secondarily is that no, uh, nice circuit analysis is in 20.
The nice dragon shifted the right charm that named 10 judges even sent Shockwave to the decision. Uh, where'd you mark that card? Shockwaves through the system. Okay. I'm gonna call Brendan and then we're gonna start prep. Uh, can somebody remind me how much prep we had? I think it was like five um, or something. Five fifty. I mean five forty. Right. Okay, five forty. Okay. Uh, Starting. Can, can you hear? Wait. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Five forty. Run. All right. So we had the. 1AR, we had some very strong, uh, we had a very strong push on the framing contention, right? A lot of times invested there because the F knows that in order to come out on top in this debate, they really need to win that their affirmative is more important uh, than the dissed. And how they're choosing to do that is making a strong push on probability mattering much more than these high risk impacts. Uh, the non uniqueness argument on court packing, I think, on the like proper, right, was this argument that the judges are already shifting, right, there's already packing happening, um, it's already going towards a conservative direction, right, they're trying to make it seem like the app isn't the main factor here that's causing uh, a more conservative court to be the result. Uh, what's notable, right, is there, the app is also using this argument made on the elections this ad, uh, that Trump win is inevitable to win that court packing will also be inevitable because a second Trump term would allow uh, continued, uh, the courts continue to move in a more conservative direction, allowing warming and things like that to continue. So there's a couple of uniqueness arguments. One is like, prop, like belongs on the flow and the other is almost like a cross application from the elections to set. Uh, some things to keep in mind, like what do you all think that the two and R should go for? Um, feel free to send those in the Q&A. Uh, I know they're not questions, but if anyone has strong thoughts about what you think the right uh, two and R option is, Go ahead and send that. Are we at court packing? T. Uh, all right, court packing without the counter plan. Uh, plan sex in a vacuum is not a voter. All right, so we see three, two in our options here, right? There's court packing and the counter plan. There's court packing, a uh, no counter plan, uh, and then there's topicality. Uh, there's T court packing and case. Uh, that's a proposal that is usually not not the greatest option, right? Because that's a lot to handle in a two and R. That's a you have to cover all of the T flow. Then you have to win offense on the disad and win that it out is case. So a two and R like that, uh, you're probably not want to going to want to go for. You're going to want to keep it somewhat small. Uh, make decisions is extremely important to have a good two and R. Uh, even if you think you're winning multiple flows, you're going to want to go for just one. Uh, and choose your strongest option and go with that. Court packing counter plan. I believe there's an upvote function. So if you all agree with someone else's uh, idea, right, upvote it and, and push it to the top so I can get a feel for what other people are thinking about what the best to an R option is. All right, I, I had it so they're all answered live. Hopefully you can see those now. All right, it seems like the upvote function is not enabled, which is fine. Now you should be able to upvote the newer ones.
Oh, I see. We're all getting used to technology here. All right, so uh, let's get someone else to submit topicality uh, and then someone else to submit court packing in the counter plan. And then if I don't click anything, you should be able to, to upvote. So right now you should have an option to upvote court packing in case, for example. So let's get those other two in our options in here. Got it. Oh, I see. So we have 15 saying go for okay. T. Now the two and R gets to show you what they selected. The order is going to be the court packing they said, the con con counter plan, the framing page, the advantage. Let me set this up. Okay. Should I give that again just in case? I'll give it again. It's the yeah. court packing this ad, con con counter plan, framing the advantage. Okay. Anybody not ready? Great. GOP court packing guts climate litigation, which our arrest from evidence says is necessary to prevent warming. It causes extinction, escalating traps, food shortages, fire, and other catastrophe make the earth unlivable. The magnitude of this is exponential, which takes out adaptation. It turns case climate litigation will be used, uh, climate change will be used to justify state-based violence, which turns the case. The link alone does to Art Mills, Eisen, and Rosenberg. Evidence indicates conservative packing makes the judicial unworkable and ensures future GOP CGR. Independently, they conceded that the court will rule conservatively on human dignity in a world of court packing, which is GG on presumption, in a world where the only argument they're going for is uniqueness takeouts because even if it's not unique that just proves packing is inevitable which means the app functionally can't solve anything because it's still considered uh, interpreted in a very strict definition of human dignity that hey, uh, the, the, the first argument is that trump makes packing inevitable but it doesn't not unique to this ad this is a new argument so strike it off your flow because it's uh abstaining your hurts neg fairness oh but either way our rosenberg evidence says that trump and the gop are adverse to court packing now because the app uh, but the app causes the gop to lose faith in the court it says that trump is within previous administration which proves that another four years isn't enough to create substantial court packing, but the link evidence is about a Colabrisi Hirji proposal, which adds uh, which adds a bunch of court positions, which is the unique internal link here. Even if courts are, are going to be packed now, it doesn't add new positions, which means it stays somewhere around the 50% line, even if they win, that it moves marginally, which is the threshold for our impact. Now, they say that there are three liberal rulings first, uh, is that these uh, dropped our answers to all these thumpers. DACA was uh, popular among Republicans, which our evidence is the only thing that it's contextual to. June Medical uh, was predictable because there was a case about it before, which won't would be important below. And they, Bostock was a checks to his decision, which means that a thing or anger compared to conservatives because they understood the rationale. Now, this also just begs, this begs the question of the link debate proper. One is liberal court losses. They conceded that our evidence says that Republicans love the death penalty and especially a ruling that uses race to justify abolition makes them feel like the court has abandoned them. That's Durham. It ensures a court packing because the GOP will think that they're behind in the government as per the conceded Rosenberg evidence. Two is they conceded the bolt from the blue ring framing, which I want you to put a star next to on your flow. The app is unexpected and unprecedented, which obviously it's thumpers because it's only the app that makes the Republicans fear future ad hoc liberal rulings because Republicans could still foresee those other rulings, which takes out the packing because they think that marginal victories are enough because there's still a little bit either way, which is the frame I was doing below. But going out out of nowhere and making a liberal ruling obviously makes Republicans thinking packing is their only option. Lastly, is CGR. They've considered the court has uniquely avoided it to shore up Republican support. Proves other thumpers don't matter because Republican who we can support can always go back to CGR and say, look, we're gaining you big wins. Go to ConCon counterplan. Con, 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 con solves 100% of the 
be out because it has a court, it has a state's con, a, 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 a pass a constitutional amendment, which exacts both state and federal law. That takes out their first takeout because obviously amending the constitution is able to reform federal law too, which means that there's no federal deficit because it's not the state's counterpoint. It's a freaking constitutional amendment counterpoint. They say perm do both. They say perm do both. It obviously still links because uh, it, it obviously still links because the permutation is still perceived as court action, which is what our link is about because either way, they conceded that the permutation magnifies the link because it makes it seem like the court is being redundant and ruling liberally on something that was already going to be amendment, which only has a chance of linking harder. They say links from that benefit rejected because it's a new argument. I did that work on the other flow, but either way, no, it doesn't because even if conservatives are pissed at a con con, they don't see packing the courts as the proper redress because what are the courts going to freaking do about it? Obviously, they do to see packing the courts as a redress to a, a liberal court ruling. That was the whole link debate. They say time frame link differential. There's no uh, time frame differential because the text says it's swift, which means that even if they win this argument, it's less than a month, which is when the next execution in the United States is scheduled for, they say, but if, uh, they say delay bad. If they win this argument, you should reject the argument, not the team, and just kick the delay part of the counterplan, but it's a new argument, which you should reject it, which I did on the other foot, but reject the argument. And, uh, uh, if they, uh, uh, But e e either way, the delay is good because it's the only way to set up competition. They consider that the neg is terminally behind, which proves that only by testing delay can we uh, can we gain any ground. Those access to certainty key warrants are, are it, it's key to test certainty key warrants, which is the only way for the neg uh, to keep up. Obviously, protect the 2 and R because this is a new argument the 2AR could extrapolate on a tons. Please don't do that, Mia. Go to framing. Uh, the, I don't need to win much here because the counter plan functionally solves 100% of the case independently. The only thing they go for is this judicial is, is this judicial precedent argument, but the counter plan solves that better because the amendment is what precedent, uh, the constitution is what that precedent is based off. It's just a logical argument here that a constitutional amendment would solve better because what are courts doing? They're interpreting the constitution. Changing the interpretation has less of a durable effect than changing the constitution in the first place and also doesn't take out the presumption level ballot that I set up on the terms case argument independently, there's a framing issue for all of Thomas's arguments, which is that they're about specific administrations, whether they be governors or states. There are two framing issues based on our 2NC evidence which they drop. First is that the public pressure, and second is the cost of the death penalty. I mean that it's on the declining trend globally, even in districts which have been using it. Our, our evidence specifically cites districts that have used it a lot in the past and says that in 2017, most of those districts stopped using it because of pressure, which means that there's a downward trend over time, which means even if they was in some risk of a de deficit, they can't get any terminal impact on it. Was anyone two two no? It was two fifty. Was, was anyone? Did anyone write that down? Two thirty. Two thirty. Okay. All right. Uh, it is the two and R. I think some things to think about for sure are uh, why might the two and R have decided to go for court packing? Uh, maybe after this debate is over, we can get a quick explanation from. Sam about why that decision was made between the two. Um, think about this delay argument, right? This is a somewhat new argument introduced in the 1AR about how the block or like cross of the 1NC and such decide to explain the implementation of a CONCON counterplan. So do you think that uh, what the negative is doing is legitimate? Do you think that the app making this argument in the 1AR is legitimate? Do you think the responses in the 2NR are good responses? Right, and also think about this delay argument in terms of strategy, right? Did the app get what they wanted out of making this argument, right? The two and R spent like a pretty decent amount of time dealing with it, explaining why it shouldn't be allowed, but also how to view the counter plan in a world where the judge agrees with the app, right? And there was some sort of time trade-off, right? Like if the 1AR hadn't made that argument, the two and R would have spent more time explaining potentially the counter plan, would have made a harder push for like all in on the counter plan. So was there a benefit there with the time trade-off? I think that's something that you all should take into account. Also think about what you think the AF should focus on going to the speech. Where are they winning? Where are they losing? And what are the significant pushes they should be making? So right, right now, uh, you wanna be thinking about all of those things. To address the question that was asked right before the tunar, right? Flowing, how do you manage to word the flows so that they are concise while still clearly conveying the idea for future reference? How do you keep track of what everyone is saying? Uh, my Short answer, right, is practice, right? You need to listen to a lot of speech, get used to hearing people speak so quickly and get used to putting those on the flow. But also people, different people have different shorthand, right, different abbreviations they use to get used to flowing. Um, and then also part of it is just that those arguments staying in your head, right? So when someone makes an argument in a debate, 
you kind of remember why you wrote what you did on the flow. And ideally you can uh, regurgitate those things in the speech and remember why you wrote what you did on the flow. So a lot of it's practice, just getting used to your own phrasing, your wording, and those type of things. Um, so if you have other suggestions for flowing, I'll feel free to type a response to that question. I just typed a response as well, but I think that you have to remember that flows are developing horizontally, right? So if I remember what this is responding to, then I'm thinking about when they're speaking, I'm thinking about what they were responding to. So applying your arguments makes a really big difference to developing a better debate memory um, when it comes to uh, responding. And then Notice that also the debate has narrowed pretty significantly by the time you get to the 1AR, just out of necessity. The 1AR only has so much time to really pull out warrants and extend 2AC arguments. So notice that I just kind of highlighted link. Also, the other thing I do, and this is something you can do as a judge, but maybe not so much as a debater. Uh, as a judge or somebody who's watching a debate, I will go back and be like, okay, like this was the link debate, you know, write a uniqueness or kind of maybe a detail, look for if there's a detail that kind of helps trigger my memory. Um, but I would say the horizontal application, kind of seeing how the arguments, you know, develop across the flow. Notice this is pretty small, but this becomes Trump selected and now I'm trying to apply it to what they were saying. Here's, um, you know, if you look at like what the link was, the link arguments were in the 2AC, there's not really that much flowed. But then if you look, uh, and some of these thumpers are down here at the bottom, but then the arguments get consolidated in one place, and then that gets responded to with this. So again, just that application makes a difference. Thank you. All right, Matt, you're good to go. The order is uh, the advantage, framing, con, con, uh, the disad. Is everyone good? Vote after soft sanction converted. They dropped all the one ARs ethic arguments, which means that the F has only provided only the F has provided an ethical framework for you to shape your ballot around. Ask yourself, what are you voting for? If you vote negative, this implicated and this implicates a perpetual argument that any action that justifies maintaining the death penalty is inherently unethical, which means that the only ethical way you can orient yourself in this debate is um, to to vote affirmative. They try to make this um, the, this non unique argument, but Trump is already reducing um, the human rights violations now, which means that any mitigation is good mitigation, which they completely drop. Go to framing. All we have to do is win that extinction. It's a process that is ongoing, currently happening. In the subject code, in the subject code for people of color, their impacts and flow death were, are already happening. In the subject code, the neg wants you to constantly prevent future violence and under their frame, ignore the ongoing and the extinction of minority communities right now. This means that the debate has only come down to who can best solve for present violence, which is only done through the F. They try to go for this argument on the dissent that the dissent will make structural violence worse, but they don't solve for the worsening conditions of minority communities that are subjected to right now, which means they merely delay structural violence. The affirmative cannot, no, the affirmative cannot only solve this by bringing state change and murder to a halt, but we also access double solvency through solving psychological violence. Since there's two implications on the debate. First is that you should prefer a probability first impact filter because it's only a question of which team can intervene in a particular process that is producing conditions for extinction to occur. Only the affirmative has a shot at changing the underlying structural conditions, such as those produced by the parasitic criminal justice reform system. The NIG merely sustains the current levels, the, which are the, which. Yeah, and second is that the negative is a future promise, whereas the F takes immediate action. And you should prefer that immediate action compares to prevention of improbable future violence, which means the try or die flips half go the, to the Hong Kong counterplan. Perm debate wins. If we win that a delay, counterplans are bad, and that the perm should then the perm should solve. They do not get to pick and choose when the, the counterplan happens in a way that most conveniently benefits the negative. They said that in cross sex of the one and see that they cannot kick out of planks of the plan, hold them to the, the delay plank of the plan, which means that, that they don't get delay on um, the counterplans. I spent a massive amount of time on framing because if we win framing and there is a delay that is independent, that's an independent reason to not evaluate the counterplan because even in the, sl even the slightest amount of
amount of delay results in further dehumanization and torture in the status quo in that specific time slot that they delay the counterplan and delay counterplans are terrible for the affirmative and should always be rejected because the NAG presents a totally unrealistic and arbitrary delay into the counterplan that they get to uniquely build themselves. They have just enough of the delay that the perm doesn't get shielded, but not so long as that the counterplan doesn't solve, which will obviously always um, structurally, um, structurally benefit the negative. And they didn't extend any of their standards because they said that you can kick planks, but they forgot that they said that you can't kick planks, which means that there's no net benefit for red and neg. And if you, when you reject the argument, then we went on framing because their only answer was, um, to framing was that the counterplan solves. Uh, go to court packing. If we went framing, you still vote affirmative because it's a question of what you should prioritize. That was non framing, and the dissent is too unique to vote on. Their entire theory is decked by the fact that the courts have voted like three times in a row liberally, and the three liberal rulings in a row means that not only is the court valid, not only do they care about blatant, but it's blatant, blatantly just a non unique. First is that based on doing medical and DACA, cumulatively are so much more liberal than the death penalty that the court has already been perceived as liberal. This means that the advent of the linchpin and the impact being triggered independently were still ahead on the impact debate there. And there are a couple arguments to isolate. First is that Trump has already pulled out of things like EPA protection and climate's parent agreement, which, um, which means that the, the, um, the climate litigation will not happen anyways, and that the, the impact is non, non unique and on, they have not done the proper internal link analysis on this. What are you, that for you to properly feel comfortable betting negative four years of um, the Trump thumb, Trump, Trump has already eviscerated, eviscerated democratic warming initiatives. Like when he literally pulled out of the climate agreement, the only impact that they could read on this is from 2016 when Trump got elected. This has a couple of cases implications versus that their evidence is merely predictive but not prescriptive and may say that democratic backsliding would be bad for the international order but it never gives a prescriptive claim that the dissent solves things like climate litigation and second is that the impact should have been triggered now since the Carters are in when Trump was elected they were right and that the, that it would debt climate change initiatives and that stuff how and then that stuff but the dissent doesn't assume a world of which and this has already happened which is literally the status quo right now and we do you know we saw the in uh, actually yeah and if Trump is going to win inevitably, then why wouldn't he just pack courts? Yeah. And they say that they that Trump will add a ton of court positions, but who cares? There are still an egregious amount of conservatives in the courts right now, which is what their link, their own link of evidence is specifically in the context of. And also, the, the one AR did make a durable fiat argument, which should solve this. And, and that we are winning, and if we are winning conservatives, and the courts is already not unique. This has a huge implication for your flow and for the ballot. This means that the only thing that we can do to intervene is intervene in the structural violence, which the AF um, has already won on framing. And they say that the AF is perceived as liberal. Sure, the AF is perceived as liberal, but the thumper should solve because the thumper unequivocally end this debate the debate the, the thumpers are the, the the only way for you to vote on this flow if they are right that they're that the, the cjr is a hot a button topic right now which was in the block of the two and r then, then then the courts will obviously see the aft coming which still means that this which means that the thumpers yeah good debate good debate great debate y'all debate um should i put together a card doc for the i need the monitor no i don't think that's necessary Thank you all uh, for participating in the debate and everyone for watching. Uh, things to think about right after this, uh, what arguments were super important? I'm sure that when you return to your uh, labs and you will have discussions with your lab leaders about who you might have thought won this debate and why. So you should definitely start thinking about those things immediately uh, so you don't forget what happened in these final two rebuttals. Uh, so I know something that I'm thinking about is this delay argument on the counter plan that now I'm thinking will be extremely important for my, deci my decision if I had to render one is, uh, does the negative get to say, reject just the delay part of our counter plan, right? That connects to discussion earlier about conditionality. What does that mean for the debate? Can the negative solve some of the AF? And if they don't solve any of the AF, do they lose even if they won some extent of this disad? So right, that's something that deserves a little extra thought. Now, a question I have for the debaters, just for the people who are watching, right? Uh, Sam, going into this 2 r what were some things that helped you determine that you should go for this court packing dissent as opposed to the topicality? So I uh, thought that there was, well, first was just a sort of chasing ink thing, which is something that can be appealing, but I think one should also be strategic about because it can be very much playing on fire. And what I mean by that is that the 1AR spent a lot more time on T than both CONCON -Con and court packing combined. And I think already going into this debate, I had set in my mind that court packing and CONCON -Con were the A strat and T was the B strat. Um, and so like knowing A where my personal comforts were, 
the how the 1AR spent its time and see the fact that the uh, 1AR to, uh, dropped the sort of turns case arguments on the court packing flow, which I've had success with before and am like fairly confident in, made me think that just uh, time wise and like distribution wise, the, the this would be the preferable 2NR. Although I did for a good like 30 seconds or maybe a little bit less consider going for T. Great, thank you. Uh, someone asked, what's chasing ink? Do you mind uh, just clarifying what you mean by that? Yeah, chasing ink is if, uh, for example, we have the T flow and the DA flow. If the uh, 1AR spends a minute on the T flow, but 30 seconds on the DA flow, I'd be chasing ink if I wanted to go for whatever flow had the least amount of arguments or the least amount of time or the least amount of ink on it. So in this case, the DA flow, the problem with that is sometimes the affirmative only needs to extend a few arguments that are really good and can try to scare the negative away from going for a certain argument that's bad by just making a lot of like random blippy arguments and just spending a lot of time on it. And so in this case, i would made the decision to go for the less covered argument because I was confident in it, but you should be wary of going for the less covered argument in case, you know, that you, like the argument itself is worse. Good point, good point. And, uh, me a question for you. Going into this uh, 2AR, uh, what kind of strategy do you think you're uh, executing or where was your mind going and what needed to be priority? Definitely framing was the biggest priority for my 2AR, which is obvious in like the amount of time I spent on it versus uh, the other arguments and also delay counterplans being bad because I personally think that's a true argument. And secondly, the whole like cross X um, argument about how they couldn't kick planks but they then proceeded to kick a plank in the 2NR. I thought that would be a good strat on ConCon. So that was my biggest thing. All right, thank you. Um, question uh, about what were the main neg arguments on case? Um, so Sam, can you quickly go through what you think were your main arguments? Uh, yeah, sure. The, so um, on on the, on the advantage page, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. not the framing page. Yeah, so on the advantage page, I just contextualized the advantage to the, um, to the counter plan because my thinking on the advantage was like, what is what utility do they get if they win the advantage? Well, they can win the advantage as a deficit to the counter plan. And that deficit was sort of like the dignity spillover, like human dignity spills over to other things. So I made a quick explanation of why like they don't solve that or the counter plan would solve better because it's a constitutional amendment. So I sort of embedded the argument, like in case they try to cross apply from the case page, I embedded that argument uh, for the counter plan on the case page. But then secondly, I said that even if they win a deficit, uh, I made the argument that there's a downward trend now in use of the death penalty because the, the way I tried to frame it, and this was obviously contested in the 2AR, but that all their evidence is specific to certain administrations, like the Trump administration or like certain governors and the, uh, that are using the death penalty. And that because of public pressure and because of the cost of the death penalty, people are not going to use it any, or like have been declining even in the places where the use is worse and will continue to uh, use it less and less. All right, thank you. Uh, does anyone else have any uh, more questions for our debaters? We have a comment that the TWR cleaned up the debate really nicely. Always the goal of the rebuttals, right? You wanna place the arguments where you want the judge to evaluate them. What oh, sorry, happened? can you repeat that? Oh, that, that, one, that last one was oh, a really I thought question. you were asking me a question. Oh, uh, no, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Question about what happened to the LWOP part of the plan. So in some debates, uh, some parts, uh, some parts of the debate don't really make it to the end, right? Because in this debate, the counter plan did almost exactly what the AF did, uh, just with a different mechanism, some different timing, right? So the debate really came down to uh, the constitutional convention and what that meant and how the negative could defend it more so than the intricacies of what the plan did. Any more questions? Was the 1AR relying on framing because they didn't really get that much time on it? All right, Thomas, do you want to speak to this? Sorry, 
sorry about that. Uh, yeah, for the most part, I mean, uh, yeah, I think framing <laughs> was the was the go to move, especially because I just I don't understand what Con Con says or like what the counter plan is in the slightest, and I so I was like, all right, I'll go for framing and then spend a lot of time there and hope that you know the two A can save me, which Mia did. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. <laughs> that was that was yep. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. All right. Well, if we don't have uh, many more questions, uh, I'll get to this one in just a second. Just keep in mind that the link, uh, I believe, lasts for a certain number of days. So if you want to take that link, once the, the Zoom ends, you're not going to have access to that anymore unless you make sure you take note of that code and you want to be able to access these documents later. So that's something to keep in mind. But uh, another question, even if the delay plank of the counter plan was kicked, why does that resolve the external net benefits of the counter plan? And why does it justify the permutation since dehumanization is pretty separate from the court pack and stuff? So uh, in, in this situation, if the delay plank of the counter plan uh, was kicked, right, then there's not much debate going on about what the counter plan looks like uh, without that delay plank, right? So it changes how that counter plan is debated. If the app wins that the entire counter plan has to be dismissed because of the delay, then there's like not much case defense against the app. So right now, if you're weighing the app versus court packing alone, right? If the neg wins that they are allowed to just get rid of the delay plank, the counter plan looks very different, right? It's an immediate action, but through a different process. And the negative still has arguments why uh, the counter plan is distinct and doesn't link to court packing because it doesn't go through uh, the federal court system, right? So it still doesn't link to that net benefit. Uh, just the debate looks different about whether the negative can uh, actually access this net benefit. And it's not, the app isn't debating that version of the counter plan. Uh, where we can find the recording of this debate, I believe it will be uh, uploaded to the same link where you access this debate initially, but this is something to confirm with your lab leaders, right? So if you have after this debate, if you want to go back and watch portions of it, um, ask your lab leader, hey, where's this link? I believe that Michigan debate or like, uh, will upload it to the Canvas site in the future. I'm not sure exactly when that will be uploaded. Just really quickly, one note for my lab. Um, let's go ahead and meet back in the Zoom for the afternoon lab so we can debrief the debate and just talk a little bit. I'm not sure other labs if you're done for the day or if you're meeting with lab leaders. Oh, for people from my lab that are, are watching or we're not meeting back in the lab room, feel free to continue doing research that you're doing in the first half of afternoon lab. Um, and finish up work you were doing then. To answer this question about conditionality, uh, that conditionality did not continue after the negative answered it um, in the 2NC. All right, well, thank you all for attending. I hope you enjoyed the debate. Um, for people who are returning back to their labs, enjoy the rest of your lab session. And thank you again to the fellows for participating in this debate. It was enjoyable. And everyone have a nice day. Thanks, Ashton. Thanks, kiddos. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.